Hey guys, this is Donish from JavaScriptShare.org. This is how I start my Friday. Today I'm going to start a new vlog. This vlog is about you are a new help desk. Sorry, you are a new system admin and you just changed the position from help desk. How do you stop the help desk calls and how do you stop dealing with them? Because now you got a new title, you got a new job, you got new responsibilities. How do you deal with that? So there are a few scenarios. I'm going to talk about real world scenarios with my, from my experience. Somebody else will share their experience, but I'm just sharing my experience, how I moved up and how I deal with these calls. First, let me move to the left, being safe. Thank you, boss. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You know, you always put your hand up like that, you know, tell the person, thank you. Okay, guys, if you move up to the system admin position in what will happen in reality this will happen you will still get a lot of direct emails from users they'll say hey Donnie I'm having issue with my browser it's not coming up correctly can you come and check it out please that's a that's a hundred percent help this call uh, the help this person now this another reality will be this that you may have a new help this person and that help this person will be because you're since you're training him you're taking over some of the calls that that he or she's supposed to do so they're thinking there's this a new call laying out there there's a priority one call maybe computer crash computer crash outside like desktop crash that's a help desk call and that new person might be waiting on you to respond which shouldn't happen I mean that's how things are so what I'm going to tell you today is some of the things that I did to kind of uh, move away from the help desk position and get back to the my own stuff because I have so much going on that I cannot focus uh, so at some point I got stressed out say so, you know hey you know this is too much right now I need to say something I need to do something because I need to do my work correctly I need to focus on my own job you know that's what I, I'm basically working on right so for a user who, the person who sends you direct email the way to deal with them you, you cannot be rude number one rule is there's no way you can be rude in this career so this way you have to do it in very technically, you have to do it in the right way. So you tell the person or you respond to the email, but you also CC that new help this person or help this department that you moved away from. So you need to CC them that, hey, uh, you know, blah, 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 Donnie or Jack, Jack, we're gonna look into your PC. I'm assigning this call to the help desk guys. They'll come and look at it. Uh, if you still have any issues, then uh, let us know. Let us know, Let not let me know, let us know. So they know that you directed the call to the help desk and then you're saying that if there's an issue, let us know, like let them know, basically like that, you know? Four, now this way the person will kind of know that, okay, that, that call shouldn't go to him. Now this person can also send you again and again and again. Now at that point, you may go, you may just send an email that, hey, um, can you assign these calls to help desk? And of course, if they don't like it, they don't like it. That's fine because they need to know you're not a part of that team anymore. So that's because you did your job first to tell them in a nice way, in a technical way, and, and, and everybody should know that. Now, what will happen is that, let me take left turn first, just being uh, being safe, you know, okay, so that went away, there's a car behind you, you put your hand up like, thank you very much, all right, so now, guys, what about the new help desk person, now, this could be a call that is coming to, let's say, for example, there's a help desk call, uh, and a new user, let's say a new user came up and took your position, your job was to actually train that person also, now, you have done your training, you have done a lot of time, you have spent a lot of time with that person, it's time that the new person should be taking responsibilities. So what you need to do, if there's a call in a help desk queue or there's a call in a ticketing system and that that this is the primary job of help desk. So the person should be able to respond first, they should take the call, if they don't know, they should assign you. This is how you should train them first. That if there's a call like that, you don't understand, you need to first take it up, it's okay. You know, if you don't understand it, you should ask me and then I will tell you what to do. But you should never directly uh, start picking up calls and then start training the help desk. But because then you have a new job, the other person have a new job, you are not gonna go anywhere. This is going to be a total stress for you. So you have to train it in a technical, in a right way, uh, right from the beginning. Let's say a, a, a person does not respond to the call that says a critical issue with the desktop. Desktop is totally helped us. And a 
desktop is crashed right now and this person is still waiting on you that okay maybe Dani will pick it up and then Dani will teach me what to do then you need to tell the person directly that hey you should be able to take this call at least take it assign it to yourself and then I'm going to tell you what to do and you need to do all that stuff what I tell you but I'm not going to be involved in it because once you get involved in it let's say you take the call for a for a crash PC you're a system admin you got another two jobs going on you got to take care of the server a site is down an application is crashed and you are working on something very technical where you need all that focus then how are you going to do that we, if you have to deal with a crash PC which is take which will take time it's a simple thing it's going to take time so these are the two reality you are going to face when you become a system admin from a help desk to uh, from help desk to sys admin this is where you will get a little bit stressed which is fine stress is not that bad you know it's like something you are going to you're going to experience but i'm just telling you that in advance this was the vlog this was about that situation so deal with it uh, right from right from the start don't take calls that is not going to be your responsibility directly do not get involved in it and that's where you, the stress level will go down a person will know that's their responsibility you know if they don't know you're there for them you're not saying that i'm not going to do anything for you i don't like to do that either i don't want to tell anyone that's new or help this person that i'm not going to help you out i am going to help you out with every single thing it does not matter i love to help but i'm not going to be doing your job i'm not going to be involved in it i'm not going to be physically involved in it with the person directly with the users on help this issues because i cannot do my job thank you for watching this vlog i hope you guys learn from this if you guys have something different share with us so we all learn together and i start working out and i think my arms are getting bigger thank you